in the UAE, this is what we do. We do it the Emirati way. Art is more interesting. We don't have the luxury of time. We want to develop our capabilities as, as soon as possible and as fast as possible. So every mission has to be harder, has to challenge us more. EMA is the hardest deep space mission. Nobody else in the world is doing it. We're doing six high-speed flybys. We're rendezvousing for seven months with just a show. It's really, it's such a unique mission. It's such a hard mission. So the Emirates mission to the asteroid belt is a very unique mission. Um, we're exploring seven asteroids in the main belt, um, flying by six and rendezvousing with the seventh asteroid. No other mission has done a tour of this sort um, of the main belt. Emirates' mission to the asteroid belt is mainly targeting main belt asteroids because it provides historic context for the formation of the solar system. The spacecraft consists of two large wings. It's about seven a diameter for each wing. Each wing, if you compare the sizes of uh, each, uh, both wings with respect to the spacecraft, is about 10 times larger than the spacecraft. The MBR Explorer is equipped with advanced technologies. The time we have to look at the asteroid is estimated to be a matter of minutes. We need the spacecraft to be equipped with autonomous navigation. The autonomous navigation will need to have the onboard image processing to resolve where the asteroid is relative to the spacecraft, ensuring the spacecraft itself can point to the asteroid throughout this high flyby speed. This mission will host technologies never used before, and this reflects how the UAE is committed towards advancing the space exploration. We have five payloads, which is MIST-A, which is mid-wave infrared spectrometer. We have EMAX, which is a narrow angle camera. We have Empires, which is an infrared spectrometer. We have Reptile 3, which is a relativistic electron and proton experiment. We have the lander, which is Emirati capability development and technology demonstration. So these are all going to look at different aspects of the asteroids. We'll get the composition and aspects from the uh, mid-wave infrared spectrometer. We'll get thermal and thermophysical aspects and properties of asteroids with our infrared spectrometers and infrared camera. And then we'll provide geological context for all of those um, uh, aspects with our um, visible camera. And then finally, along the way, we'll be connecting information about the solar energetic particles. No space mission without challenges and risks. So we commit to face these challenges in order to reach to what we want. Therefore, there are different challenges on the lander development. First one is the survivability. Until we reach to justicia asteroid and deploy and make a contact and take images of justicia. The second one is the battery. So the battery is playing a crucial role on the lander itself because it has to survive for a long period until we reach to our destination. One of the main challenges we have on the MBR Explorer is the ability to have a continuous thrusting. So the UAE is really pushing the boundaries and advancing the technologies that will enable us to even explore beyond the main asteroid belt. The solution is the innovative thermal design of the spacecraft that which will enable it to be able to adjust to the different solar distances, getting close to the sun and getting far away from the sun in the main asteroid belt. We need to generate a tenth of what we can generate around Earth orbit to be able to operate faster. It'll take us a while, so we're not going directly there. We're flying by Venus and then flying back to the asteroid. So it, it, it's not a direct route. So the first asteroid to fly by will be in 2030. I will be working on uh, developing the algorithms of the images during the flyby. These algorithms are important to ensure that the flyby will precisely approach the asteroid. And we are going to get there and observe it and come back with a really good and cool images of the asteroids. A major aspect that EMA focuses on is the international collaboration aspect. Currently we have you know, a lot of partners who contribute to the mission. Across the mission you'll meet so many people from different nationalities and that's what makes EMA um, a unique mission in my opinion. International collaboration is playing a crucial role on every space mission. So we have five payloads. MIST A is a collaboration between the, the UAE Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. We have the Empires, which is an EMM upgraded engineering model, which is a collaboration between North Arizona University and Arizona State University. 
We have Reptile 3, which is a payload between NSF and LAS. Emax is a commercial of the shelf from Malin Space Science System. And lastly, we have the lander, which is a technology demonstration that will be built in the UAE to develop the capability of the UAE engineers. Like any space mission, there are scientific objectives and there are what I call them the national objectives of the UAE through this mission. And it's very important to highlight that one of the major objectives of this mission is the capability development. I never thought that I would be working here in the US before, honestly, leaving my home and everything behind and come here and work. But like, I think this ambitious mission is worth it. AMA is a really challenging and unique mission because we are going to visit multiple asteroids that we don't know much about. The space sector in the UAE has grown so much through those deep space missions. Ten years ago, when you go to kids and ask them, you know, what do you aspire to be in the future? Because of those deep space missions like Emirates Mars mission and the Emirates mission to the asteroid belt, a lot of kids now change their you know, like storyline and they tell us, I want to be a rocket engineer, I want to be an astronaut, I want to work on a deep space mission. The role of space is really instrumental and it changes the mentality of the next young generation. That's amazing.